Hey guys, so this is my Ruger Speed 6 uh, 9mm Parabellum caliber. This was, these guns were manufactured between 1972 and 1988. Um, so these are starting to get harder to find. Uh, the 9mm especially, they are more of a collector's item. Um, there's a lot more of the 357 and 38 specials out there. Those are cheaper. These, This one is a little bit more expensive. Um, so this is one of my favorite revolvers because it's kind of part of history. It, uh, so this one, if you look right back here, there's a transfer bar. This is the first revolver with a transfer bar, so it's drop safe. Um, so if I keep my finger on the trigger, it keeps the bar up as the hammer is released. But if I let go of the trigger, as the hammer goes down, the transfer bar goes down. So um, the hammer goes over the firing pin. Whereas if my finger is on the trigger, the hammer hits a transfer bar, transfers the impact to the firing pin, and lets off a round. Let's see, we'll stay up. So, this was the first uh, drop safe, so other revolvers, if they hit, fell, and hit the hammer, might let off a round, whereas this wouldn't. So, also, this only has one screw in the whole gun. Other revolvers might have some screws. This is only has one screw. You take that out, there's a pin uh, that you use to take apart the whole gun. You hold the hammer back, put the pin in the spring. There's a little slot, you put the uh, pin in the spring. It would hold, uh, or it would release the tension in the hammer and then you take the spring out and everything else comes apart there's one pin here take that out so this gun is put together like a puzzle see this fine line it's very smooth you could barely notice the line but it just goes together like a puzzle which is why i think this revolver was very ahead of its time um, and it also it locked up in three spots right there. That, that little pin sticks in there. Uh, this sticks right in this little slot, in the cylinder. And then right here, there's another pin that goes into the back of the cylinder. So... Uh, Smith and Wessons did not have this at the time. Just the other two other spots. But when I shoot this, uh, the nine millimeter is a very high pressure round. Uh, they travel, the rounds travel around 1100 feet per second, uh, 1100 feet per second, 38 special travels around 800 feet per second so nine millimeter is a faster cartridge than the 38 special uh 357 is a lot a lot faster around 1200 to 1500 feet per second so when i was shooting this when i shoot this at the range if i hold high if I hold high, it has significant recoil, and this corner will go into my thumb bone, this upper bone right here, and it kind of hits a nerve, kind of gave me sharp pains, because if you hold it high, all that recoil goes right back into your hand. Whereas, I started holding a little bit lower which solved that problem and the pain immediately disappeared uh 
So if you hold it lower, the, the barrel would rise more. Instead of holding it higher, the barrel and the, the recoil went straight into my hand. So I just held it a little lower, which solved the problem. This is nine millimeters, so you need moon clips for fast, fast reloads. Um, because if you don't, you can shoot it without, without the moon clips. You just have to take them out by hand like that. Or if I'm at the range, I just bring a little wooden stick because these do not eject. They don't catch. So with these moon clips, I'm gonna show you. These slide right in. So reload, it's very quick. Very smooth gun, I think it's beautiful. And this pushes in, cylinder release pushes in. This one came with a red front sight. The nine millimeter, these are harder to find. Um, paid, paid a good amount of money for this one. This is about, this one weighs about two pounds, a little over two pounds. They say it's, uh, 33 ounces online and it's very heavy, but it helps with the recoil. I can only imagine shooting a lighter revolver because like a Glock or other autos, they with the slide, it, the slide takes up a lot of the recoil, whereas revolvers are very stout. All that recoil is going right into your hand. Uh, you could watch my other video, um, nine millimeter revolver speed six. And it shows how it performs at the range. This is very sharp. It's an old gun, but the grip is very sharp right here. And so if you get these moon clips, they eject really quick. I really like this gun. I love how it's, it, it's like a puzzle. See that fine line where it would just slide out. So if you wanna see my other video, see how it shoots, how it recoils, um, please do, please subscribe like comment ask questions i will answer any questions you have thank you thanks for watching